Thanks for tuning in. This is part two of building this server-side filtered um, table. And um, in the last, in the first part, uh, we did uh, sorting and pagination. And um, now in this part, we will do searching and filtering so we can um, filter for anything alternative. I don't know, uh, out and here faith so we can basically combine any searches column and globally um, i hope this video helps and check out the first part if you missed it so now what we want to do is we add a glo want to add a global search so um, for that we again go back to our database file here and here we need a new parameter a search string and pass that here and in the same logic I add a new placeholder for a where condition and um, if a search is passed we replace that with a long very long where condition over each um, column we want to um, yeah, search over playlist name, track name, artist name and each time we use like and uh, pass a percentage before and after it so it can be anywhere in the string. So basically a JavaScript in string is this and we also do lowercase to both sides. And um, yeah, if we don't pass anything again, we uh, do an empty where or nowhere. Um, okay, so here in our API again, we just need another grab that um, new parameter, parameter. Let's do that below the check for pagination. And if we have any search, we set it in the arguments. And this part is uh, now we need to actually reflect that in calling our API. So we add a search variable that has that stores the current search term and when calling our API, we net need to set um, the query parameter to this variable. And in the same fashion as before, we set, we make a function called um, set search. And uh, what we do here is we do search equals the new search term and request data. Great. So, and for the UI element, so ahead of the table, I will do an input type search on input, I call set search. And oh, yeah, yeah. We have an error. Okay, I managed to find the error really easy. I just somehow added a hash in here and now it does load again, great. And we have this input here, cool. So I can, for example, search for rock. So now every genre should be rock or uh, here is some rare rock in here, yeah, here sham rocks. So this does work too. And for example, also pink, I get one page of Pink Floyd. So yeah, we can search basically for uh, over anything. Great. But as you can see here on the right side, let's see how many times we actually fetch for the server if I do Floyd. So basically very often. And um, one th thing we can do to improve this is because it, yeah, while we're typing, we don't want to 
uh, always search. I mean, it's really fast because I'm on local host, but if, if there's a network time between it, we fetch a lot of things um, that don't even resolve bef before the user types the next uh, letter. So um, going to debounce the search, create a small timer. And if we go here, we clear the last timer and um, create a new one and only do this uh, after the timeout. So we wait basically 250 milliseconds to um, to uh, do the actual request. And if in the meantime, and this gets called again because the user typed again, we're going to clear the last request and create a new one. And uh, so, okay, I was a little bit slow, but I guess I can, uh, you can get the point. Yeah, now I meant to do it in one request, Fly, but I can try it. <laughs> so um, this is more, a little bit more efficient. Uh, one thing we need to notice is, okay, so let's um, search for nothing, go to the last page and now search for Floyd. So we are on page 349, but we only get like one result page. So we need to, we should actually reset the page. Um, so let's try again. We are on the last page and we're actually on the first page now. Great. So one thing we can actually remove here from the option is this get sorted row model as we do it for ourselves. We don't need that anymore from the 10 stack table. Um, yeah, as we do it manually, so it still works. And um, the last last thing I want to do is I want to um, be able to do search for uh, specific columns as I showed before. If I search for rock, maybe I won't only want to use uh, rock genres, but I still get a result here because the track has rock in it. So I don't want that. So um, we want a specific column filters. And so we go to the database function again. I add a new parameter called cal filters. And we, because we can search for multiple column f things, uh, this will be an object with a key is a column name and string is the search or the filter value. And yeah, we also pass that as a parameter. And let's lock them immediately. And this will be appended to the where stuff. So, um, yeah, we can cannot really um, rely on the stuff we built before. So I'm going to use an array um, of all the where clauses we want to apply. And the first stuff here is um, if we, we don't replace here yet, we just push a string into this array, we can delete the else part. And we also wrap everything in there into um, um, a brackets because yeah, we do a lot of ors in there and we then we will append new rare clauses and um, the ors could mess stuff up. So just divide them into brackets because these rely on the same filter rule. Okay, and then if we have column filters, we loop over them, get key and value, and we push again if lower column name like, and same stuff, basically in string, but with lower case on both sides. And to actually build the where clause, uh, if we have actually anything applied, we do where 
and then join each of these array things with an end. Otherwise we do an empty string. And now we can finally replace the placeholder. Great. Now we need to again go to our column filters, uh, to, our, to our API point. And here we will retrieve our column filters. And um, we will pass um, these arguments. And because we can um, yeah, query multiple um, columns or filter multiple columns, I will pass the method JSON because uh, I don't want to pollute the search parameters too much with like uh, filter column one, filter column two. It would be too complicated. I just have one attribute column filters and pass a JSON there. And here we pass it again. And we can get, get back to our page and um, our Svelte component, we can here store the filters and um, and we of course need to pass them to the request so we set column filters json stringified the object and um, now we can create a function set sorting set pagination set search set filter column and filter value and we just set the array to um, the column uh, in, in this object we with the key of the column name we set the value of the filter value and passed request data and also in here we should actually reset the page so we don't run into this issue um, so and I will um, put um, where am I here is the button I will put an input in there and this is also type search gets uh, binds the value on this filter object and we call on input set filter pass a column name by header.column.id and um, pass a value, the bound value in there. And we have a, a placeholder also. And as you can see here, we get um, these inputs. Now let's try them out. So for example, now I want to filter by the genre rock. You can see here that we pass by um, JSON. And if I go to the last page, it didn't work. Uh, didn't, I uh, didn't save this, okay. Let's try again, rock and yeah, okay. Now we actually only get rock. Um, great. For example, I can also filter um, the artist, great, and still I can do the global search and combine multiple search terms, great. Another small thing is, um, actually I wanted to show this earlier, but I forgot, um, like the row number column I added, uh, I didn't actually show it, so, um, uh, here, I uh, forgot the comma. So for example, um, we now get a small little row number here. Um, so here I want to, I don't want, I, I think it doesn't make sense to search for a specific, it, it, it even crashes. Great. Um, I think because, uh, of maybe the column name, I don't know. But uh, I think it doesn't make sense to go for any specific row as, um, yeah, it's, uh, it's yeah, it doesn't give any value. So um, 
what we can do here is um, pass some meta info like here I don't want to sort by it and for the others I want to do that let me paste that for every other object so the meta thing in Svelte a uh, 10 stack table is where we can uh, pass any user data. So it's an, just an object where we can do any, pass anything to it. And we can, of course, later um, check on that. So um, here is our input. Where is it here? We can wrap that in a small if and only do that. Um, um, if we actually set or define the column to have it. So here now this is empty again. Great. Um, cool. And another small thing, it's just visually, but um, here you notice the fields of uh, the sorting. I think it should be the whole width. So um, here's this button we pass is full width as a Bulma class and has text rate bold. And now we can click on the whole surface, great. Yeah, and this is basically it. So we have this um, server side filtered um, uh, column uh, table here and um, it's really, really fast, I think, and uh, doesn't make a lot of sense to do this on the server if you have lots of data. I hope you find this useful and can use it in your projects. If you have any feedback, please comment then below. And thanks for tuning in. Goodbye.